everybody, this is Ron Gadget Man. Today is February the 16th, 2011. What we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the correct installation of a uh, digital epi. Uh, this, this is the Fuel Saver Dash MPG model. Let me show it to you here. Okay. Now, what I used on this wiring here was I, I used two standard wires for the, the power in the ground, which is the yellow is the power, the blue is the ground wire. Then I used a set of trailer wire, four, four lead trailer wire, two of which runs over this way and over to the front sensor. Oh, this is a, a 1995 Nissan Maxima, by the way. Sorry, guys, 95 Maxima. All right, this, this connector here is the one for the uh, front oxygen sensor. Come, comes up this way. That's all right. We'll leave it on for a minute. Uh, that's, so we just tapped into the, the blue wire. You see, I'm sorry, the uh, yellow wire here is for the power, and it's, it, I just tied into the existing power wire uh, for the heater circuit, and it's switched. And then I cut into the center, center wire there is the sensor wire, and that's what's powering the epi. The other epi, the other uh, oxygen sensor lead is right back here. Sir, what was that? Uh, that's good news. Thank you, Neil. All right. So that's the second uh, lead of the second connector for the oxygen sensor. Don't tap into the one that goes to the oxygen sensor itself, guys. Come from the wiring harness towards the computer. All right. Uh, and here's the here's the epi in operation. All right. Would you give it some gas? You watch. That's the one that's functioning. See it flashing? That indicates proper operation. Now, uh, you've got to go. Thank you. So uh, now, uh, Mike Curley at uh, Fuel Saver has recommended that you run a ground wire jumper to the circuit that's not used so that green light goes out. But I don't really care about that. Nobody's going to see it anyway because it's under the hood. So uh, there you have the uh, the proper installation of an epi. That's that's the Fuel Saver MPG uh, dual digital epi, and uh, really simple installation, guys. I think you'd be very happy with that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, one other thing. What I, you see how I've got this set up there, you see the digital reading bolt, right? When you when you uh, you hook your probes, this is this is the, the only bank I'm using here. This is for the front two, one on the front bank, one on the back bank of the engine, and this this other one is for the rear uh, at, for the rear sensor, which we didn't hook up on this one. So we're just mo we're just modulating the frequency of the first one. And what we're going to do, the, he recommends the lowest setting at 150. As you can see, is what that is. Uh, I'm probably going to have him take it out for a spin because we don't know how the FE is going to respond or how the car is going to respond with the gauge man groove modification on it. So uh, we're going to have him take it out for a test spin and see if we can come down on it a little bit. God bless y'all. We'll talk to you soon.